Hey, I'm Tony. Welcome to another video on my channel. And in this video, what are we going to do, Rob? All right. We're going to be changing out the drain for the kitchen sink. Uh, it's rotted out a little bit. Uh, we're going to put it all plastic. We're going to put it all back together with some rubber connectors. And uh, hopefully it's not plugged up in it either. Don't make a mess. So this is Rob the Plumber. You may have seen him in a bunch of my videos. So we're going to tackle this job. But before we roll into this, remember, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel. So you get all the latest and greatest videos and definitely give the video a thumbs up if you like it and uh, let's get this thing going. So what happened is where these band clamps are, it's an old piece of pipe. I have a leak there and then we sprung a leak down there with all the banders. So we're going to take all this out and um, put some new PVC in, a new PVC P-trap tra and connect over to the cast and we're going to kind of use um, some rubber boots only because you have to connect to the piece of copper down here and in a few weeks I'm gonna take a bunch of this old cast iron out to redo an old bathroom that we have upstairs and yeah that'll be another video and you can see Rob the plumber and I in that but before you start any of this you definitely need a t-shirt like this <laughs> right, what am I holding? Hold the bucket. Yeah, I'll hold the bucket. I think I can hold the buggy. so you gotta pull this old pipe out of the boot Then you're gonna wanna have a bucket so you catch any water. And then there's an old piece of copper that connects the PVC up top. So you have to get that out by twisting that collar and it connects to the PVC if you have a setup like this. I'd like to take that bracket out. Yeah, we'll take that out in a minute. Pull this out. That's like a wooden really long pipe. You could probably cut that down a little bit. Yeah. Alright. So it's the uh So you should be able to pull that right down, right? Should be able to. And so just a lot of corrosion on it. So take a sawzall, and you use a sawzall or a pipe cutter to cut through this. Alright, so if you have a hacksaw, you can cut through that too. You drain all that out. Kind of cool stuff. Chocolate milk? <laughs> it's pretty gross. Alright. Now. Let's make sure this is still... We can't see that upstairs, can we? No, I'll have to go up and take a look at it. Right. So we have to um, disconnect the other piece of pipe. This is a temporary fix that was made years ago. I don't know who did that. <laughs> so we can take that pipe out and reuse these boots because they're rubber and they're in good shape. So I need to do... Well, it's a nice adapter going with copper, PVC, copper, copper, uh, yeah. cast iron. It's like nine million different kinds of pipe here. Yeah. It's like disgusting. I don't know what that was, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to cut here. Yeah. Let me see if I can push that back a little bit. Yeah, take this thing around. Take this off. <clears throat> Open the bit of a boot up. I think they attach that to the piece we have to stick it out. And if you're not using like 
copper fittings are connecting to it and you're using these boots just to make sure that the um, clamps are down like the bands on the clamps. These are pretty easy to work with. Alright, so this is the inch and a quarter side, the other one's the inch and a half side. Nope. We're not supposed to do that. <laughs> so we're going from an inch and a quarter pipe up there. What is it an inch and a half? This this one's inch and a half, this one's inch and a quarter. Okay, so we've got a boot that's kind of like a, a reducer. So we can go from one pipe size to a bigger pipe size. So it would be one easier for us to take it apart when we redo the other side. Yeah, when, when we have to take this apart, this will make it easier. Um, if this is a permanent fix, you'd want to glue this all in. So right now we have to test fit everything. This one here. Put our little clamp back up, hanger. That's going to be perfect. All right, let's yeah, tighten up that end, huh? All right, Rob, let's tighten up this end. Get this all settled back on. And this is a pretty, pretty easy way to fix a piece of leaking pipe. Um, it's like a, a waste pipe or something coming off of your sink. This one's coming off of the sink upstairs. Sink and dishwasher. Yeah, dishwasher too. Right at the A looks good. Alright, so we know where our mark is. We're just going to use a saw, our uh, reciprocating saw to saw through, saw through this. Up. Okay, let's glue these ends together. So I'm going to put some glue in here. Then we can fit this all together. Let me let it stop for a second. On now. I get that on the machine. Yeah, I got it on the washing machine. Alright, so we gotta put some primer on there, clean that end, and then we can glue it. This stuff makes a mess. I hate this stuff. <laughs> it does make a mess. Right, so put some glue in that elbow up there. Into the boot. All right. I can tighten that up. All right. So once it's all together and glued in place, now we can tighten up the uh, rubber thing up there. Rubber adapter coupling, inch yeah. and a quarter by inch and a half. All right. I don't have water leaking on my washing machine anymore. Or on the floor. Make sure this one's tight. Yep, I'm just going to tighten the top one. Nice. Looking pretty good. We're back in business. Hey, so I should fix that leak. Thumbs up. <laughs> All right, so it's all fixed. So that's just like a quick and easy way um, to make a quick fix to um, a sore pipe, not a sore pipe, but um, waste kitchen pipe. Kitchen sink pipe. Yeah, the kitchen sink pipe coming out. And uh, like I said, it was kind of an easy way to get a put new piece of pipe in place to fix this leak that I had going on. Um, we didn't make anything too permanent because I have to rip out that cast in a few weeks. So just kind of wanted to give you an idea what to do if you're in a pinch and you need to fix the leak right away. So hope you liked the video and subscribe to the channel. Take it easy.